Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I will be bringing you a very short video on infusible ink on coasters using a regular home iron. So what I have is this coaster that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I've had it for a while. So I'm just going to take my 80 grit sandpaper on my finger sander or hand sander, whatever it is, and I'm going to take the design off of it. And it comes off fairly easily. You do have to apply some pressure to it, of course. But see how that comes off? Very nice. And this way you don't have to buy the expensive blanks. I mean, you can just grab these from the Dollar Tree and use them for your uh, infusible ink. Because, you know, if you get the ones from Cricut and uh, the other ones from Amazon and all like that, you're going to pay a lot more than $1.25 per coaster. So this is just a, a cheaper alternative to buying the blanks. Now, once I'm finished getting the design off with the 80 grit sandpaper, I do take some 320 or 400 grit sandpaper and go over it to make it smooth. And I do go around the edges with both uh, grits of sandpaper. And then as soon as you're finished, or not as soon as you're finished, but when you're finished, you want to take it and you want to wash it real good with just some water front and back. And you do not want to stack these. Uh, if you have them wet and you have several and you stack them together, they're going to mold. So I have my infusible ink paper that I got off of Amazon. And I will provide a link in the description box for this. Um, I haven't totally perfected it yet. But I think it turns out pretty good. So it's pretty easy to uh, peel the backing off or peel the, uh, the paper off and get your design there. And you do want to make sure when you're cutting it out that you mirror the design and you put your ink side up on your mat. So once you get that off, you want to weed your letters. Once you have your letters read, weeded, then you want to take your uh, coaster and you want to lay your design face down so that the uh, ink side is on your coaster and the clear plastic is sticky. So you want to push that down onto your coaster and that'll just keep it in place while you're doing your iron. So uh, this is just a piece of parchment paper. And then I have my iron with no steam set on the highest, uh, the highest setting, which is linen on mine. And I'm going to do it for four minutes. And you don't press down on it or anything. I'm, I was just checking it. I probably should have left it alone. So uh, for four minutes, you just leave it there. And I'm going to speed this up. See how fast that's going. So four minutes will go pretty fast. I put it on 10 times the speed. So there it is going to zero. And I take the iron off. I remove the um, the sheet and then I'm peeling it up but really you should wait until this cools down before you peel it up so you really shouldn't do this while it's hot and then my um, the bottom of my coaster came off but you can put that back on once it cools down enough for you to really touch it
So there it is. Now, part of it did get smeared a little bit. Not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, the worthy, the W-O-R, and then the O-R in the honor. Both of those smeared a little bit, the ink smeared. So I'm not sure exactly what happened with that. But it is what it is. And now I have this purple sheet of infusible ink, ink sheet, and I'm peeling it off because I, and when you go to use, cut this out on your Cricut, now I have a Cricut maker. I put it on the infusible ink setting and I do less, um, less pressure because I read that when I bought this infusible ink transfers that that's what you wanted to do with this one because otherwise if you keep it on default it will cut your backing sheet. So this was T-R-A-F-A-G-U-L-A -A -A, infusible transfer ink. And I got several sheets in several different colors. Uh, they were four inches, I think four inches by 12 inches. So this one's ready to iron on also. And you just do the same thing that we did for the other one. You place it down, rub it to make sure it's not going to move. And then put your um, sheet over it. And this is parchment paper. And then you just lay your iron on it. You do not press down and you do it for four minutes. Now on the package itself, it says three minutes, but I find with an iron, it just isn't long enough. Maybe with a, uh, a heat press, three minutes would be good. But uh, yeah, I do four minutes with my home iron. And I think these would make nice uh, Mother's Day gifts. You could pair that with a mug. Maybe put some candy or flowers or something in the mug. Or maybe some coffee or tea. So um, I'm just going to wait on this one here. I'm going to wait for it to cool down before I pull that backing off. Okay, so now it has cooled down. I can touch it with no problems. And I'm going to peel this up. Now this one here at the top, where the T and H is in mother and the I and the I and the S for is, uh, it kind of smeared a little bit, but there they are. There's a picture of them and with my old nasty cup on it. And again, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts. And if you like what you see here, please give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate each and every one of you, especially my subscribers. Thank you so much. And thank you for everyone who's watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. See you in the next.